We're good. All right. The uh, world didn't come to an end. Sun came up yesterday, back up today. So we're, uh, you know, we've uh, evaluated the film, looked at the film, broke it down, uh, got the corrections made, and, and have moved on and uh, preparing for Clemson at this time. Larry, TJ, after the game on Saturday, said he thought some guys gave up. Um, your reaction to that? TJ, who? Thorpe. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't see anybody give up, so I don't know what he saw, but I didn't see that. Was that troubling when you hear a player say that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. You want you don't want to hear, hear a player say that. I mean, I would have to. I'd have to talk to TJ and find out why he said that. You said I, I didn't see that. You said after the game tonight that you were going to reevaluate everything, including yourself. Uh, what conclusions did you come to as far as doing some of that reevaluating? Well, when you, when you look at it, I mean, you, you look at the results as far as when you look at for me, I mean, the results weren't, you know, they weren't good at all. And so I had to go back and see, you know, the plan that I put together for the team for the past two weeks and, and uh, what I could do to change that to, to help us be in a better position, you know. And, you know, there, there's, uh, I mean, I can, you know, whether or not I think that, it, that that's the factor or not, that's, those are some things that I could do. I could I could change a lot of things as far as the way we practiced, uh, you know. But I don't think that's the answer. I think the way we practice is the right way, you know. I think it's a it's a proven way, and I think we'll continue to do that. Now, uh, you know, I mean, you, you know, anytime you have that kind of result, you gotta you, you gotta look at everything. It doesn't mean everything's doing wrong, you know. But you gotta look at everything. You got to evaluate every every little detail to find out if, if you still believe what you're doing is the right thing, and, and I still do believe that. How much of it was was just a personnel situation? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's time when you when you miss tackles uh, in 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 space. It's a it's a tough thing to do. Sometimes you can say that's personnel. Sometimes you can say the the guy that was uh, that made a miss was better than they were in making the tackle. So there's a you know. Uh, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it's a breakdown in fundamentals, you know. So it's, uh, I mean, they, they've got good players. I, I, I said that from the get-go. So, uh, you know, we just, uh, we got to continue to work hard and, and do a better job. And what was the number of missed tackles? Uh, I don't know what the number was. on the, I didn't get the final number. I don't know that. Defensively, does this cause you to reevaluate in you know, the big picture whether this defense is the right one for you guys, 4-2-5 or? No, I, I still think of a four two five. I think, you know, uh, there's a lot of people running the four two five all over the country that are that are that are fine. Uh, that it you know, I mean and, and there are people all over the country that will have uh, that have trouble with uh, you know, this type of offense and, and uh, it, it is what it is. I mean, you know, whether you're in a four three or three four or, or a four two five, you still gotta make plays. And uh, you know you, you got to put your guys in a position to be able to make plays. I, I don't think it's a four-two-five. Now maybe the the scheme that we used within the four-two-five in the game wasn't the best thing that we needed to do. What does practice look like for your defense in particular this week? It uh, we'll get ready for Clemson and, and put together a plan for for Clemson to stop Clemson and do the best job we can, and then we will practice that plan. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't, you don't change your, you know, your practice. You, you know, I, I don't think uh, one game dictates how you, how you practice. So, you know, we've got to, uh, the most important thing we do now is put this game behind us and then put together a good plan against Clemson and make sure we understand the plan when we get, you know, get by the end of the week. Two years ago, you guys gave up the 68 to Georgia Tech and then turned around five days later and gave up, I think, 13 to Virginia Wood. What happened during that week, and are there lessons you can take going into this week? The the probably yeah, there are lessons that you take definitely. I mean, you take them in every situation, you know. And so you, I mean, I can I can tell you in that game. I mean, all we did was we we put that game to bed as quickly as possible. Tried to you know learn from the mistakes we made, and then we moved on as quickly as possible because it does no. It, I, I can assure you, there's nothing that's going to help us defeat Clemson if we dwell on what happened this past week. They're, 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 you know, we won't, it won't help us anyway. So it's 
it's not about dwelling on what happened last week. It's about where do we go in the future and how do we get better. Was effort an issue on Saturday? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say effort was an issue. I, I think uh, I think we got some guys that were tired on defense. We really did, you know. And again, you know, when you spread the field and you miss a tackle out in the open field, and you got guys that are they're tired, they don't get there as quick, and it, it results in explosive plays. And they, you saw a bunch of them. When you put that Georgia Tech game to bed two years ago, you had some experienced guys that had a lot of pride, probably that helped in that in that transition. Do you have enough of those guys now? Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, we you know, we talked about it uh, yesterday. You know, everybody's got a choice on how they're going to react to the situation, and, and that that find you know determines who you are is how you react to it. I mean, you you uh, when you know, the true test of a man is, is finding out who you are. You know, and the, the te you you're, until you're really tested, you don't know. But when you are tested, the true man comes out. I mean, it, it comes out, it's who you are. I mean, you can't hide it at that point. You, and, and why would you want to hide it? You know, so, you know, everybody has a choice to make. Myself, our staff, uh, everybody in the program, you know, as far as which way we want to go from the, you know, from here. I think I know, you know, and uh, so we'll, we'll find out this week in practice, the way we respond, the way our guys uh, respond to it. I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard to say. We do have a lot of young guys, you know, and uh, we'll have to do a great job of leading. So you anticipate you're probably going to learn a lot about. What oh yeah, we're going to learn a lot about our football team. That's when you learn about your football team is during adversity, not necessarily just adversity, and then you turn around and win the game. All right, when you overcame that adversity, well, you, we got a we got a different type of adversity right now. It's still adversity, you know. How are we going to deal with it? You said. Uh, Saturday, you were worried about the mental aspect of your team kind of jumping off. What you were just saying, did you see any signs yesterday that, that made you? Oh, I, we got we got guys that are down. Yeah, I mean that. You know, I, I didn't expect them to come in here dancing around and, and all happy. Uh, I would. I'm not sure that I would have understood what that meant. You know. So yeah, we had guys that were down, and uh, you know, and we we addressed the game, uh, but again. It's uh, it's very very important that it's it's you know we don't dwell on it. It's over with, and it's not going to help us win this next game. So we have to refocus on this next one. We don't get time to to, to uh, wallow in our pity. You know we've got to put it behind us and we got to move on. What went into the decision to play Mitch so early in the game and to continue to play him as much as you did? Uh, it's been the same decision every week. I think if you. If you go back and look, I think he played on the third series every week of, of the three games that we played. And then uh, throughout the game, we just started, uh, we mixed him in one other time, I think, in this first half is, uh, is what I believe it was. And then, uh, and then the, half, the second half as the game got out, of, uh, got out of hand a little bit, we just uh, played him a little bit more. Is that the plan to play in the third series of each game? Uh, it, it has been the past three games. Now, whether or not we'll continue that, I don't know. But uh, uh, every one of those situations was planned. I mean, it wasn't uh, let's throw him out there because of what's happening in the game. It's been a planned situation. Is there a scenario that disrupting Marquise's rhythm and the offensive flow? No, I'm not concerned about it. Is there a scenario in a game when you have it scripted that Mitch is going to play a third series, aside from injury, which you might change that because of the way the game goes early on? What was the question? Is there a scenario that you can foresee aside from injury in which if, if it's scripted that Mitch is going to play in the third series that you may change that and not play him in the third series because of what happens early in the game? Uh, well, I mean, I, that's uh, it's kind of a... Well, it, it, I mean, it, it could, yeah, it could happen. I'm not going to sit here and say that, uh, you know... Well, well, basically, I guess a more direct question is are you married to that third series if you go into a game saying he's going to play the third series? If I tell him, if we plan for that and I tell him that's the plan, now there are things that could happen to take us out of that plan, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like telling a kid one thing and then doing something else unless something drastic comes up or there's a, there's a reason for it, you know, and then and I don't have a problem with it. Is that an indication that Marquise hasn't fully grasped the starting Oh, no, no. He is our starter. There's no doubt about it. He's our starter, you know. Uh, Marquise played in just about, I think, every game last year, you know, and, and Brent was the starter, you know. So it's, uh, you know, 
I, I don't think that it's, uh, you know, if I looked at it and evaluated it and felt like it was hurting us offensively, obviously I wouldn't do it, you know, but I don't think that's the case. Quinshot Davis had a lot of expectations coming into the year. He's kind of disappeared in the first three games. What do you think the issues are there? I don't, I don't think he's disappeared. I think, uh, you know, I, I don't think that we necessarily gotten him the ball, but other guys have gotten the ball. I mean, you know, it's uh, sometimes coverage dictates where the ball goes. I mean, it just it, it is what it is. I, I don't think the quarterbacks are sitting back there and saying, don't throw it tomorrow, you know, don't throw it to uh, Quinshad. It just, it has. It, it's happened the way it's happened. I, I can tell you, right, you know, from Quinshad, I, I can tell you his standpoint, he would, all he wants to do is win football games. Yeah, does he want to catch balls and, and be a contributor to the offense? Yeah, but he wants to win football games, more importantly. What have been your impressions of Clemson so far? They're good, really good. You got, got a chance to uh, watch the, uh, you know, I've watched the game totally, but watched the second half of it the other night. And, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, Clemson didn't get beat in that game. I mean, they had, they had a lot of opportunities to win that game, and they just didn't, didn't you know, uh, seize on those opportunities, but they had the opportunities to win that game the other night. Probably should have won, but didn't, you know. And then you got to give Florida State credit for, for winning the football game. So, but uh, they were they were every bit as good the other night as, as Florida State was. I, I think uh, you know Florida State probably take the same thing. I mean they're they're uh, they're really good, and I, I've spent more time looking at the defense than I have uh, their offense. But I know what. Uh, you know, I know what Chad Morris does offensively. I know how difficult it is to defend. And then now they've decided, probably, I'm guessing, that they're going with Deshaun Watson. Yeah, they did. Uh, so. They did? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, and that kid's very talented. You know, and then defensively, I mean, they, they, uh, they can fly. I mean, they can really run. And uh, all the big guys up front are big and fast and, and can really go. And, uh, you know, so we'll have our work cut out for us. This, this game will be tougher than the last week's game. How much does some of the struggles you guys have had on offense to affect the defense in terms of you know going three and out sometimes or a short drive that you can't sustain? Yeah, I, I think it, it it all affects everybody. I mean, you know, not just offensively but defensively. Your special teams. We haven't made a anything really special happen in the special teams, and and uh, no game changing plays. And I mean, all that's contagious. You know, when something good happens, I mean, you know, and we really didn't do enough to make anything good happen. Uh, you know, but we got to learn to overcome that. I mean, if, if one side is struggling, the other side's got to pick them up. That's what the game of football is all about. I mean, I, I can't remember too many games in my life that all three phases are dominant. You know, it just doesn't happen. So, you know, you've got to be able to pick the other side up when needed. You know, and so, or at the same time, you can't let what the other side does affect the way you play. You know, so, but it does. You go from facing a really experienced quarterback, Cardin, to one who's not very experienced, to Watson, but he's very talented. What are some of the challenges about uh, taking off him? Well, the, the thing that I know that he can do is he can beat you with his legs. I mean, and so that's always tough on a defense when your quarterback can do both. You know, and, and Chad's going to do what he does. I mean, he's not I, – I don't sit there – you know, the, I don't think he's going to sit there and say that we have to uh, – you know, uh, limit what we're doing because of Deshaun Watson. I think uh, Deshaun's been there a year in the system. Uh, you know, now he's, uh, now he's risen to the starting position, and I, I think they're probably pretty comfortable with what he can do. So I, I think they'll, they'll have a full playbook as, uh, you know, however limited it, they make it for a game, but I don't think it will be because of the quarterback play. You lost maybe one, possibly two off of the line in the last week. Is that maybe the position group that yeah, I, I can't afford to lose anybody at any position, but yeah, offensive line has always been a concern from the beginning of the season as far as getting some consistency up there and, uh, you know, doing things that we need to do to, to become a good unit, you know, and so when you do that, it's, it's hard, to, hard to build on that consistency. How do you think Jared and Kara played? Uh, I think Jared uh, did a did a solid job. I really did. You know, again for being a true freshman. And who was the other? Yeah, Kiro. Kiro. I thought Kiro did a nice job. You know, coming in in the situation he did. I mean, he he had uh, one uh, I think one major missed assignment that I remember. Uh, you know, kept talking about. But other than that, I thought he did. You know, he did okay.
Anything else? All right. Thank all you all. Right.